Welcome to Work B21 HAD CV workshop. Uh, today we will talk about the Active 21 SDL, the sequestered data leaderboard, uh, specifically the result for unknown facilities and the known activities. Here are the NIST team members, leading by the John Fiskus. Uh, my name is Yu Young Lee, and this is a complicated the evaluation, and every individual here uh, takes an important role to make this uh, possible. Disclaimer The views and conclusions contained herein are those of the authors and should not be represented in any uh, official organizations. We will briefly introduce the active and discuss the uh, evaluation tasks and performance measures and the, uh, introduce the data sets and we will conclude the talk with the results and analysis and uh, briefly discuss what would be the next steps. So what is ACTIVE? So ACTIVE stands for Activities in Extended Videos uh, which are an evaluation series that we've been working on since 2017 uh, as part of the DBA program. In spite of the previous effort of work on the uh, data collections and benchmark studies, we still need to improve the human activity detection technology that meets the practical needs uh, for video analytics uh, domain applications. Uh, here are uh, some uh, examples of the stage scene videos which we are currently uh, working on. So uh, the primary goal of the active evaluation is to facilitate the video analytics technology that can automatically and robustly uh, detect a target activity and identify and track objects associated with that uh, target activity. So the challenges are the robust detection of known and surprise activities in both the known and unknown uh, facilities in a multi-camera environment. Um, the known means here the both activity and facilities are known to the developers uh, in advance. For example, the facility metadata and site information are provided for known facilities while no facility information is available for unknown uh, facilities. Uh, it also includes the temporal and spatial temporal localization of the activity for reasoning in this challenge as well. Again, uh, this is a team effort. We NIST developed the active series to support the evaluations for uh, the IRPA, the DBA program and the data sets were collected and annotated by the kitware. This slide summarizes a history of the active series. Uh, in 2017, um, the DIVA active kickoff meeting began, and in 2018, uh, we shifted our effort of the track with the surveillance event detections to the active series. We have been concurrently running uh, both uh, DIVA and uh, TrackBit active evaluations. The major differences between the two evaluations are evaluation types and data sets and the number of the activities. For example, for TrackBit 20, uh, we have a take-home leaderboard on VORA data set with 35 the known activities. Uh, as for Active 21 SDL, we have sequestered a uh, leaderboard evaluation on the MEVA test 4 uh, data set uh, that contain both the known and unknown facilities uh, with the 37 known and 10 different surprise activities. So our target applications for the program include both the retrospective and real-time analysis domains. The retrospective analysis applications process the best collection of videos prior to uh, returning a list of detected the activity instances, for example, the forensic analytics um, application. 
while real-time analysis applications process the live uh, video streams and the system detects the activity within the defined the latency during the collection and the example applications would be an uh, alerting or monitoring uh, systems. The evaluations in this slide are primarily uh, focusing on the uh, forensic analytics the applications. We have uh, two different evaluation types, uh, namely the self-report or uh, we call take-home and the independent or we call the sequestered evaluation. The, um, the take-home evaluation, uh, the performers run their software on their hardware and submit the system output to NIST uh, the scoring server. For the sequestered the evaluation, the performers uh, submit their renderable system to NIST and NIST evaluates the system on the sequestered data using the NIST hardware and the post the result to the uh, leaderboard. The leaderboard evaluation provides the overall performance of uh, the uh, performance the, after aggregating the system performance across the all the target activities. The following results are based on the active 21 sequestered uh, leaderboard the evaluation only. So why sequestered uh, evaluation? The sequestered evaluation protects the sensitive data and the privacy considerations. It also supports the evaluations on a large set of video data, which helps to move the participant's computational burden to NIST. It also runs systems on the same hardware, which uh, supports the less biased evaluation and the measures system processing time more accurately. Most importantly, it can confirm reproducibility of the system result. Uh, on the other hand, it requires a lot of effort to develop or run and maintain the evaluation infrastructure. It also harder for participants to develop the system to run on the third party infrastructure. Test and performance measures. Activity in this evaluation is defined as one or more people performing a specified movement or interacting with an object or a group of objects, uh, which include driving and flying in this context. In this specific uh, challenge, we address the uh, activity detection task uh, which, given a target activity, a system auto automatically detects its occurrence and then temporarily localizes all occurrence of the activity in video sequences. For Active 21 SDL, we have uh, two leaderboards with the sub leaderboards. Our uh, primary focus in this talk is a summary of the unknown facilities with known activities. Uh, on EO camera um, mark in the yellow here. This slide shows a summary of performance metric calculation. The scoring calculation can be divided into four steps. Basically, given um, the reference, the instance annotation, and system output, uh, the first step is to align the reference, uh, the um, the activity instance with each relevant system instances and compute the, uh, the detection computer metrics and calculate the summary performance metrics and visualize the uh, result such as the deck of shown here which x-axis is um, time-based the first alarm rate and y-axis is probability of the missed uh, detection. So our primary metric is the mean normalized partial area under the dead curve, which we call NAUDC in this uh, talk. In addition, we report runtime speed calculations and time-limited scoring, which accommodated the system uh, that takes longer than real time to process the videos. Uh, so we will include the time-limited, the NAUDC as our primary metrics, 
and time limited the probability misdetection at uh, TFA equal to 0 0.02 as well the uh, secondary matrix. Data sets. We can categorize the Active21 SDL data set into two, namely the known facilities and unknown facilities. So known facility um, was collected based on the staging scenario with a team of over 100 actors. I believe Kitware covered the details in their previous talk. While unknown facility data um, is the sequestered data, which was collected at various places, also it includes the both uh, known and surprise activities. Here shows some MEBA data examples for known facility scenarios. You can visit the following mebadata.org for the detailed information about the data. This table summarizes the target activities for both the unknown and known facilities. Uh, we will have the 37 known activities for both the unknown and known uh, facilities, but the four activities below uh, here were not yet incorporated into the initial the unknown facility evaluation. So we will primarily focus on the 33 the activities in this presentation. So here we will discuss the um, Active21 SDL unknown facility and known activity results and analysis. This table lists the participants for Active21 SDL the UFKA evaluation. The results here are based on the submission as of the November 27th, 2020. So some of the new participants may not be listed in this table. Uh, we have a total of the 81 submissions uh, from six organizations. Um, the table describes the teams, their uh, mean and AUDC results that are the best system per site. It shows that the CMU um, DIVA has the highest NADC value uh, followed by the team uh, region. The box plot in this slide illustrates a ranking of unknown facility systems over 33 activities. The x-axis represents the um, team abbreviation and the y-axis is NAUDC and a smaller value is considered as a better performance. The color-coded points here is NAUDC for each activity and horizontal black bar is the median. However, the systems are ordered by the um, mean NAUDC value across over the um, 33 activities. We observe that activity level performance is particularly uh, sparse across the older systems. In this box plot, the X axis indicates the activities and it is ordered by the mean and AUDC over uh, six uh, different uh, systems. Based on this plot, we observe that given data sets and systems, person uh, talks to person is the easiest to detect, while person loads vehicle is the most difficult activity to detect across the uh, six systems. Although uh, CMU DIVA performs better in general, each team has their own uh, detection strengths depending on the activity type. For example, uh, if you look at this graph, the x-axis is represent the each team, and the, uh, here's the legend, and y-axis is the NAUDC. Uh, for example, given data set and system, we observe that the uh, team vision and IBM Purdue can better detect for the following uh, activities marking the uh, blue or rectangle here, uh, while the UCF and UMD system can uh, better detect for the vehicle related the activities uh, marking pink uh, in, in this uh, slide.
This slide shows a comparison of unknown facilities and unknown uh, facilities. So we subset the 33 activities from the uh, known uh, facility result for the purpose of a comparison. We used the different systems and different uh, test sets between the unknown and the known facility um, data uh, result for the uh, comparison. The left um, the box plot represents the known facility and right is um, the unknown facility, the result. Uh, based on this result, we observe that the unknown facility systems perform better uh, than the UF, the unknown uh, facility system. And this observation is robustly true over six different D systems. This uh, slide shows a comparison of activity detection difficulty between the unknown and the known facilities. So X axis is represent the, uh, the team names and the average the activity ranking, which is uh, ABG here. And Y axis is 33 D activities. The numbers uh, in the matrix represent the ranking of the 33 activities for the system. So if you look at uh, top 5 easiest and hardest activities between the unknown and known facility, the result, they are, are different. However, we can observe that the common the activities such as uh, the personalized bicycle being uh, easier and the person loads the vehicle being harder to detect in these uh, evaluations. In summary, uh, given the BEBA test 4 and the unknown facility 33 known activities over the six systems, we found that person talks to person and person rides bicycles are easier to detect uh, while the person sits down and person loads vehicle is uh, too difficult to detect in this uh, challenge. We also observed that uh, the system performed differently in the activity level uh, comparison. So uh, unknown facility known the activity detection is more challenging than the known facility and known activity detection for all of the systems which we expect um, for both a known facility and known facility, the person rides bicycle is easier and person loads vehicle is more difficult to detect uh, for both the uh, facility data. Based on the SDR submission deadline of the November 27, 2020, we invited the top two teams to present their work. The first uh, team is the CMU Diva and the next team is team region. Next steps. Active is ongoing evaluations. We invited everyone to submit their system to NIST, which we will uh, then run your system on our sequestered data and post the result to our uh, leaderboards. Uh, currently, we are supporting the following uh, leaderboards namely the unknown facilities with the known activities on EO camera and surprise activities on EO camera. Also, we have the known facilities with the known activities on EO camera and the IR camera leaderboards as well. Thank you. Uh, we would be happy to answer any of your questions. Um, also, if you prefer to send us an email, please use activeandnest.gov uh, for your questions.